As we begin investigating using elimination or the addition method to solve a system of equations or to find the value of x and y that makes the equations true, we need to notice what makes the addition or elimination work. The addition only works if the variables have opposite. In other words, in front of x is 5 and the other x is negative 5, or maybe in front of the y's is 7 and negative 7. They have to be opposites. And so sometimes we have to get the opposites, and we can do that by multiplying both sides of an equation together to get the value we want. We have to be sure, though, when multiplying to have a negative in front of either the x or the y. You want to have a negative in front of one of them and a positive in front of one of them. That way, the positive and negative will subtract out to 0, and we're down to one variable. So in example 1, we have 2x minus 4y equals negative 4, and 4x plus 5y equals negative 21. I want to draw our attention to the x's. We'd want these x's to have negatives in front of them. Notice one of the x's has a 4x. If the second, if the first equation had a negative 4x, it would subtract out with the second equation's positive 4x. So what we will do is we will multiply both sides of the equation by negative 2. Notice when we multiply by negative 2, we now have negative 4x plus 8y, make sure we distribute, equals positive 8. The second equation unchanged is still 4x plus 5y equals the negative 21. And notice as we do that, we now have opposites in front of the x, 4 and negative 4. When we add the equations together, those are going to subtract out to 0, leaving 13y equals negative 13. Finally, to get the y alone, we divide by 13, giving us y equals negative 1. We still want to find the x, so we're going to plug that value into one of the equations. Let's just plug it into the first one. The first one was 2x minus 4y, which we just found out was negative 1, equals negative 4. Well, doing the math here, we've got 2x plus 4 equals negative 4. Subtracting 4 from both sides gives us 2x equals negative 8. And dividing by 2 tells us x is equal to negative 4. And so as an xy pair, x is negative 4, y is negative 1, will make the equations both true at the same time. Let's try another example where we have to do a little bit of work to get the opposites we want. In example 2, we might look at the x's and say, can we easily get 5 and 7 to be opposites of each other? Well, we can't really multiply 5 by something and get 7. We can't multiply 7 by something to get 5. But maybe we'd be more interested in the y's. We can get opposites in front of the y's. We already have a positive 12. To get a negative 12, we just have to multiply the first equation by negative 4. When we multiply by negative 4, now we'll have negative 12 in the center. Distributing through gives us positive 20x, negative 12y equals positive 12. The second equation is still negative 7x plus 12y equals 14. And now, as we're ready to add together, we notice we have opposites in front of the y's. When we add together, the y's are going to subtract out to 0. We're left with 13x equals 26. Dividing by 13 gives us our solution for x, which is 2. To find y, we just have to plug that x back into one of the original equations. 
I like the first one because the numbers are smaller. 5x or 5 times 2 plus 3y equals negative 3. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3y equals negative 3. Subtracting 10 from both sides, 3y equals negative 13. Whoops, missed this negative right here. That's negative 10, so we're going to add 10 to both sides to give us 7. Sorry about that. Watch for your signs. That's the most common error in addition. Dividing both sides by 3 gives us y is equal to the fraction 7 thirds. So as an xy pair, 2 comma 7 thirds is the solution to this system of equations. Multiplying both sides gives us opposites in front of one of the variables.